is going on beautiful people welcome back to funnel heads today we have some pretty big news that i wanted to share with everybody and we've been trying to keep this a secret for a little while uh, because we were waiting on little man's exemption to come through uh, we finally got that late last night um, but unfortunately we actually had to cancel the carnival pride cruise which of course is the celebration leaving march 5th celebrating Carnival's 50th year in business or their 50th birthday, if you want to put it that way. Um, but uh, no worries there. We actually just switched that cruise to the Carnival Mardi Gras. Um, and the reason we ended up doing this was because when we initially booked the Pride, it was a different itinerary. Of course, we're not blaming, you know, obviously places are shut down, they have to change things. Um, but we originally booked it because of the itinerary. Um, that itinerary had changed quite a bit. Um, and the Carnival Mardi Gras was actually less expensive than what we had paid originally for the Carnival Pride. Uh, so we are officially going to be going on the Carnival Mardi Gras for the celebration, the 50th birthday, I'm sure there's a good amount of people that are going to watch this video or that are subscribed to the channel that are going to this specific cruise. So I cannot wait to meet everybody. I cannot wait for you to meet uh, my wife, Michelle, and little man, Rhett. It will be his fifth birthday on the cruise. So we are so excited. He still doesn't know. I don't know exactly when we're gonna tell him. Um, we'll gonna try to figure that out that out this week i don't know if it's going to be a surprise but it's definitely you know a part of his birthday um so we'll probably end up telling him before or at least a couple of days before we don't want to tell him like too far in advance i mean we're only about 20 something days away at this point so we're getting to the point where we're going to need to start packing in the next you know week and a half or so so uh we'll probably end up telling him there but of course you know once we do i will let you guys know Another update is we are really thinking about going in April. There's only one week that works for us um, because of spring break and work schedules, uh, plus little man schedule, of course, with school. Um, and I believe that's the third week of April. So uh, we narrowed it down to like two or three different selections. It sounds like we are gonna go, but I will let you know when that cruise is gonna be uh, as soon as we do. Uh, hopefully we'll decide in the next week or two. I wanna get it kind of wrapped up before we go on this next one. Um, also, Carnival, John Heald, the brand ambassador, stated that they were going to reveal all of the Carnival celebration details. They gave us kind of like glimpses of what to expect, so that way, of course, people were excited to book it, uh, which was a great idea, but I knew it. Uh, I said it in the video, actually, on the celebration video, that I thought that Carnival was kind of keeping some secrets or, you know, had some things up its sleeve, so I'm really looking forward to seeing exactly you know what they have and i think i still think that they're not going to reveal everything but we'll have to see i'm really excited about that i did see of course the list of ships that are going to be at the meetup and um for whatever reason i guess it's because when they had the carnival celebration like picture you only saw four ships meeting up so this entire time I was thinking that it was only going to be four carnival ships meeting up. It's, um, it looks like there's going to be like six to eight, depending on, you know, uh, what's going on with itinerary wise. I know some ships obviously have moved different locations, but it sounds like there's going to be more than four, which is really cool too. It's going to be awesome to be on the flagship for the birthday. Uh, I wouldn't want it any other way. And we, like I said, we ended up saving money. Uh, as far as the cruise fare, we ended up, uh, we're actually not flying, we're gonna drive there, so we're gonna save a ton of money that way. It's very close, well, not very close, but it is a lot closer than Tampa would be, so it's a pretty decent drive down to Orlando, and we've already been out of, of course, Port Canaveral for the Mardi Gras back in December, so very familiar with the situation. But anyway, I'm very excited, you know, to be going. Of course, we will be you know, doing all types of video content of the celebration. If you want to view that, I can do live videos on the ship. Sometimes they don't come out as great, just depends on how the internet is uh, from time to time, but I will definitely be doing lots of content. So if you're not going on the celebration with us, definitely, you know, um, 
subscribe to the channel look you know check in from time to time i'll be doing videos on the ship uploading as well as when we get home so anyway that's it for today thank you guys so much for watching as always hopefully i'll see you on the mardi gras or in a future cruise catch you later